So we're in the second level now of the Wily Fortress, and this is where the game really starts to ramp up the bullshit. Must be because you had a cut in the very first second of the video. Yeah, just imagine we died about uh, 20 times. <sighs> I'm now imagining you dying, and it's sad because I like you. Yeah. Now the important thing in the Wily Fortress <laughs> is... Uh, <laughs> I can't even imagine liking myself. <laughs> So we have a rush jet section. It's off to a very good start. Oh yeah. The important thing is you really wanted that uh, little first aid kit item, because that doubles how much energy you get back from those uh, energy pickups. Hmm. Which makes this far less annoying when you inevitably screw up and have to go grind for energy. Also it makes mm. perfect sense considering it's a fucking health item, you know, with a red cross on it. Robots use medkits a lot, so it's okay. For weapons? Hey, look, man, you just gotta put a band-aid on your item. I'll fix up your gun. They're all fixed. Man, this section is riveting. Yeah, it's like I saw it in another level. <sighs> Maybe while I was waltzing through another one. It's a nomash. Oh man, I love I love invisible block puzzles so much. It's not even difficult, it's just, here, here's a puzzle. It's not a puzzle, it's bullshit. But you could play better, you know. That's true. <laughs> That's nice. You do know that this is your fault. I mean, you got the opportunity to observe the puzzle beforehand, and carefully plot out your strategy to deal with it, and you still fucked it up. It's Dark Souls. These sprites are too high resolution. It looks bad. That's what I have to say about that. Yeah. Plebeian. Plebe. Are you seriously grinding for health right now? There's a reason for that. And you actually. left this in the video? Yeah, I did. Because it's really <laughs> important that you know what I'm grinding health for. The real Dark Souls starts here. I'm loving the error message sound effect. Because if you die to this boss, you don't, like, start here and have to do it again. You instead start at Wily 1. You could have, like, sped this up at least. That's what I would have done. Well, it's over already, so... Now that's a true experience. Why do you need only a single health pellet? Hello. Face, how are you doing? This is boring, make something dumb happen instead. Well, let's just have our base fight. I mean, he's probably gonna be a good fight. And... On my life? So, a fun fact about Bass is that he does not actually turn to shoot you. He literally <laughs> just walks back and forth and fires charge shots. It's good. It's good. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know, but let's follow up our good, our base fight with uh, this. Oh, the fuck invisible that. boss door. <laughs> also, oh. Wow, that's some bullshit. Fantastic. So yeah, if you don't beat Bass, you get sent back to the beginning of the level. So you gotta do all that rush jet shit again. Yeah, but that was easy, man. Easy. I don't know why anyone has ever thought those are good. Like, I hate them in Mega Man, I hate them in fan games. The idea in the original Mega Man, at the very least, was that because the screen scroll was so slow, you would be able to see what was happening and plot out a course. But in this game, when the screen scroll takes maybe a second, you're already being thrown into it. Everyone who does anything in a fan game has exactly one thought process, that is, it was in the original. Full stop. Homage. They did it in Mega Man 2, so I've got to do it in this game. Exactly. I've got to put a gamma fight that takes 10 minutes. Yeah, but it was in the Mega Man game that makes it sacrosanct. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, and here we go. This is the part of the level that had about 30 dunks associated with it. 30 deaths at this part. Dunks! Let me... Dunks. 
Dunks because the only way you die is being thrown into a pit. Dunk souls. You know, like that. Yeah, maybe you should have used the shield weapon. You'd think that would help you, but not in the way you think, because it won't actually protect you from the missiles. What you actually have to do... Can't you just use Rush Jet? No, actually, you can't. The missiles are designed so they will kick you off Rush. Ah. So what you have to do is immediately jump on the blocks as they pop up. Uh, and keep running forward. So you get just enough time by getting hit. The missiles happen to knock you off Rush. They were not designed that way. I don't believe you. Nothing in this game has been purposefully designed to work. That's probably that's probably fair. Maybe, but at the same time, I believe that the next level will prove you completely wrong. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I love being cool, bro. But before that, uh, do you remember Flare Man? No. From the DOS game? No, from this game. Oh. Because guess what? We're fighting him again. Wasn't there a Flare Man in the DOS game? Yeah, pro I think so. Or maybe it was Sharkman. Do it with Flare. So yeah, this is the fight. This is Heat Man. If you hit him with his weakness, he'll just immediately charge us. You can knock him out of the charge. That's nice. It's almost like there was a reason why I couldn't do that in Mega Man 2. I can't think of one. Speaking of Mega Man 2... What the fuck? Oh, good. Oh, good.